pre-law is hell. The workload is near impossible. And if you want to get into any of the decent law schools, don't even bother trying. Unless you have a 4.0. At least I had that much. But even that wasn't enough. You need a killer transcript, volunteer hours, and of course money. Tons of money. And that's what I didn't have. Lots of it. The thing is, easy money, you always end up paying for it. Go. Thanks. All right, we got a beer, two shots, and a vodka soda. Here, Kara, have a shot with us. I can't, I'm working. Come on, just one. Sorry. It's on us. Oh, oh sorry. Ah, it's just perfect. Are you okay? I gotta get cleaned up. We're slammed. I'm drenched. What happened to you? Uh, just the usual. Serving drunks and getting dumped on. Hey, are you going back to our room? No, what? Uh, so you grab me a shirt. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm going to a party. You should come. You know, when you're done here. I can't. I got a paper to finish. Oh, well. You know what they say. All work and no play. Well, that's just me. Hey. Hi. That dress is so hot. That ring. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. What are you doing here? I just want to see you. Happy you're here. If you change your mind. Hi. What the hell is going on? I don't know. He's like 82. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your new roommate's dad or her boyfriend? I have no idea. <laughs> Hey, Kara, I need to talk to you for a sec. I hate to do this, but uh, we kind of hired too many people at the beginning of the term, so I'm gonna have to cut you loose. You're firing me. Not firing, letting you go. I'll give you a call if we need more help. But I need a job now. client who I knew was guilty. Could I morally represent him? Now, the law dictates that he has a right to be defended. But could you? Or more importantly, should you do it? I want you to pose that question to yourselves and answer it in your next essay due in a week. Kara, can I see you for a minute? Yeah. Are you still interested in the summer internship? Of course. Well, I just heard that the women's law shelter is looking for somebody. Now, they don't normally accept pre-law grads, but it's worth a shot. Although you should know that it's full time and it doesn't pay. Oh, I didn't realize. Well, if it's something you can't manage, I understand. But if you could, it would look great on your transcript. OK, I'll think about it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's time what do you think? Does the color wash me out? No, it's fine. $849. Hey, who is that guy with the Ferrari? Oh, uh, you mean David? 
He's just a friend. A friend? Is that whose party you went to the other night? You would know if you came. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be so hard, Kara. I mean, ever since the semester started, all I've seen you do is work and study. I have to. No, you don't. Like, why don't you come out with me tonight? You can wear one of my new dresses. I highly doubt I can afford a place where I have to wear a dress like that. Especially since I lost my job. Well, that's perfect, because you won't have to pay for a thing. Come on, it's just one night. You deserve it. All right, I'll see if Justin can come. No way. This is a girl's night only. <sighs> Trust me, you're gonna love it. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David, this is my roommate, Kara. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I thought that you could, uh, you know, introduce her. Of course. Anything for you, sweetheart. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get us some drinks. Okay. Actually, I think I'm okay. Whenever you're ready. What are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, David is hardly just a friend, and this? This is obviously a meat market. It's a lot classier than that. Really? Old men hooking up with 20-year-olds is classy? These men have a hell of a lot more class than the frat boys on campus. Thank you. Here, drink this and mingle. Or don't. Shana, Shana, wait. You look lost. I'm looking for someone. Why are you so uncomfortable? Everyone's enjoying themselves, except you. Maybe I don't consider this fun. You don't consider a party fun? Let me guess. You are a college student. You take your studies very seriously. You probably work weekends or even nights when everyone else is out. Is that a problem? Not at all. In fact, I respect it. I know from first-hand experience what a struggle it is to make ends meet. But now I am in a position where I might be able to help others. OK, excuse me, you are? Grant Zager. And you are? Kara Jones. Look, I appreciate your respect, Mr. Zager, but I don't need your help. I don't think she's ready. No. She's ambitious. And you know how much I love a challenge. Thank you. Hey, don't you go to Wittendale? <laughs> it's OK. I won't tell anyone. <gasps> so what are you shopping for? What am I shopping for? Someone to pay your tuition, your rent, or do you just want a nice pair of shoes? <laughs> I'm not shopping for anything. My roommate brought me here. Shauna? Yeah. <laughs> well, if there's anyone to teach you how to play the game, she's the one. Yeah, well, getting groped by 70-year-old men isn't really my thing, so if you see her, tell her I left. I know, I know, and I wish it would have turned out differently, too. Okay, sorry. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Mom, are you all right? 
Oh, Kara, sweetheart. Mm. What's going on? Well, it looks like we lost the fight with the insurance company. I don't believe it. I mean, this was an accident. I know, but they denied the coverage, and there's nothing we can do. I don't even know if we're going to be able to hold on to the house. Maybe I should move back home. No, 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 no. We've talked about this. Now, your father and I want you to be close to campus so that you can focus on your work. You've worked so hard. We just want you to be able to get into a decent law school. There's my girl. Hi, Dad. Mm, missed you. You're back at work already? Yeah, first week back. I feel great. I was looking at your VW out front. How's it holding up? It got me here. Mm -hmm. How's your vet? Do you mean that fully restored vet that I just drove up in? Why don't you tell me? Wow. Sweet. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's just once a Rusty frame, huh? Yeah. You keep doing us proud. This can make a pretty decent graduation present. Are you serious? Just gotta finish law school. Mom told me about the insurance. It's my job to get you through school. And we have to make a few sacrifices to do that. So be it. Get in there and fire this bad boy up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, how's the job hunting going? bad. <laughs> Most of the part-time positions have been filled for the semester already. Can your parents help out? They owe so much for my dad's medical bills. They can't even help with tuition right now. Oh. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll find a way to do it. Mm. Hello? Kara, Grant Sager here. How did you get my number? Your roommate gave it to me. I hope that's not a problem. Um, yes, it is. Oh, well, you have my number now. I'm hoping you'll call. Kara, take it from someone who did it all on his own. Everyone needs some help. What do you think? She'll call. Who's that? Oh. That was just a friend of my dad's. He wants to help plant my dad's 50th. Oh, am I invited? Of course. OK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gave him my number? I guess he called you. Why would you do that? Because he asked for it. Trust me, a lot of girls would kill to be with Grant Sager. He's like the sugar daddy jackpot. So that's what David is, your sugar daddy? Look, don't get all moralistic on me, all right? <laughs> He's an adult and I'm an adult. We're not doing anything wrong. Well, you're having sex, right? So? OK, wait, so <sighs> how does all this work? Easy. I give him what he wants, and in return, I get what I want. As in money? Yeah, lots of money. Look, I make myself available to him whenever he wants my company, and in return, he pays my tuition. <sighs> Doesn't bother you that he's so old? <laughs> In the dark, everyone looks and feels the same. Look, just go out with him once. Just once. I mean, what could it hurt? If you don't like it, then forget it. But if you do, say goodbye to all your problems. I am so glad you called. I, I thought we were going to dinner. We are. 
in San Francisco. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Do you think people will think I'm your daughter or your girlfriend? <laughs> Either way, right now, doesn't make a difference. Because every man in this room is jealous of me. So tell me, what are you studying? Well, right now I'm studying political science mm -hmm. as my major, because I want to go to law school. Just what this world needs, another lawyer. I'm kidding. Hey, if you're any good, I'll hire you. Something tells me you're going to be good. I'll just leave it in the middle. Thanks. So you've chosen a very competitive field. Now, what are you going to do to get a leg up on the competition? Well, I just applied for an internship with the Women's Law Shelter. Mm -hmm. It's a non for profit I've heard of it. It's really good. <laughs> no? Champagne. With caviar? Champagne. It accents the flavor. <laughs> so what did you study? Oh, same as you. Really? Mm -hmm. You're a lawyer? No, oh, not even close. I studied law for a couple of years, but then I realized I was much better suited for the investment world. So what I do now is I buy broken companies. I fix them up, I make them profitable, and I sell them. It's a good business. You're just like my dad. He really likes buying these broken down cars and restoring them. A car lover. We have something in common. Though I would prefer if you don't compare me to your father. I'm sorry, I didn't mean It's to. all right. I just want you to see me as something else. So how are you paying your way through school? My parents help a little, but um, my dad got into this car accident last year. And his medical insurance said that he wasn't covered, so now they have to pay. How much? 80000 that's about what you need to get through law school. Yeah. So here's the thing. I think one of these every month could help. I have a boyfriend. We both have lives. I just think they could be enhanced by a special relationship. Think about it. So, how was it? It was fine. Fine? <laughs> Come on, where did he take you? The Grove 360? San Francisco. Are you serious? Yeah, he uh, took us there in his private jet. Oh my god, you are such a lucky bitch. Did you join the Mile High Club? No, it wasn't like that. He actually was a gentleman. I knew it. We're in such a score. But you guys have a deal, right? I don't know. I just told him I'd think about it. Seriously, what is there to think about? 
Grant is the whole package. With him, you're able to do whatever you want. Professional conduct. This is regulated by a very specific code detailing what is considered good behavior and unacceptable behavior. So, unless you want to get into trouble, you'll be killed. Kara, have you made a decision about the internship? Can you do it, or am I asking someone else? Yeah, I can do it. Is there anything I can do to make you more comfortable? How about a drink? Sure. Cheers. Cheers. So. So. <laughs> Should we take it upstairs? Maybe you prefer another room? The gym? The pool table? The garage? <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> Relax. Okay. I'm not gonna ask you to do anything that you don't want to do. I want you to enjoy yourself.
That ought to take care of your student debt, huh? So, did he ease you into it, or did he just take you? <laughs> <laughs> he was actually, he's very considerate. You're lucky. My guy's wife isn't into role play, so guess who gets to play dress up? Your sugar daddy's married. You're surprised? Says you have a boyfriend, don't you? Look, I'm sure you're fine. Grant seems like a classy guy. Besides, just do what I do. You just close your eyes and pretend like it's the hottest guy ever. <laughs> and then when you open them, it's all over. <laughs> okay, so what's going on? What's the latest? Well, I just applied for an internship. That's great. With whom? The Women's Law Shelter. I mean, it doesn't pay, but it'll look really good on my transcript if I get it. Are you, uh, are you gonna be able to keep your job at the pub? Yeah, for sure. Don't worry. Here. Just a little something to help out. Thank you, guys. But really, I mean, I'm fine. I think you guys need it more than I do right now. Really? <laughs> Thank you, though. So what's going on with you? Hmm? Is there something you don't want your old man to know? What are you talking about? GPS, young lady. You turned it off. I can't track my little girl anymore. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I'm kind of grown up now. I figured it was time to oh, cut the cord. Oh, oh, we're playing the grown up card. I guess that means I can't take her out for an ice cream sundae later on. You know, I wouldn't do that. Wait, 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 wait. I never said I didn't like ice cream mm -hmm. anymore. Oh, then you're back in. You're back Thank on the team, you. honey. Yeah, baby. Nice. All right, it's a deal. <laughs> Kara, Grant here. Oh, hi. Something wrong? You sound upset. Um, nothing. I just can't get my car to start. Obviously, you're going to need a lift to my place tonight. Tonight? I'm, um, I have plans. Cancel them. I'll see you at 8 o'clock. You need a jump? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, pop the hood. Yeah, just leave it running, okay? Okay. Hey, so we still on for the movie tonight? Um, actually, I can't. I've got a paper to write and a test to study for. Okay. I promise I'll make it up to you. <laughs> it's no big deal. Just let me know when you're free. You didn't eat. Peter's gonna pick up some dinner for us. Will he be joining us? Do you have a problem with him? Peter is, uh, he's a very good friend. We grew up together. Sorry. You can answer that if you want to. Oh, this is just, <laughs> it's my mom. I'll just call her back later. Do you have a good relationship with your parents? I do. Lucky you. <laughs> How about you? Do you have any family? This is a pretty big house for one person. If you're asking me if I'm married, no. Why should I get married when I can have a relationship with somebody like you? <laughs> if this works out between us, I'd like to help your father with his medical bill. You would do that? Sure. It was 80,000. It's no problem. Oh my God. Come here.
I have something for you. They're so beautiful. Put them on. Man, it must be nice getting all that fancy jewelry just for doing what you girls like to do. What is that supposed to mean? Don't play games with me. I don't have anything you need. You sound jealous. My dorm's just down the street. What about you? Are you just rolling in too? I was just at my boyfriend's. Which one? <laughs> Where were you? Well, you know, just playing dress up. Let's see, tonight I was dirty flight attendant. Does that bother you? Having to do that? Does it bother you? It's not so bad, I guess. Yeah, well, that's because you're lucky. Grant's good looking, and he's a gentleman. Not all of them are like that. Some will make you do things. Things you wouldn't even do with your own boyfriend. Things that no matter how many times you shower, they'll never come off you. Leah, yeah, I'm sorry. Get off me. Leah. Hey, you still studying? Yeah. I thought so, so I brought you a midnight snack. Thanks. I thought you were just bringing me a snack. Oh, no. That was just my cover. Borrow these from Shauna. To study? Um, actually, speaking of studying, I actually should probably get back to it. I'm like so much stuff to do tomorrow. I'm just 
really overwhelmed. Sure. I'll, like, come over to your place tomorrow. Sure, whatever. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Before I forget, you got your internship. How do you know? I made some calls. I pulled some strings. So it's yours. I don't know what to say. Say you're happy. I'm happy. See, this relationship can work out for both of us. She's your girlfriend, not mine. I know, I just I tried texting her and she never got back to me. It's just not like her. Maybe she's in the library. You know how they are about phones in there. Yeah, maybe. Those were uh, some nice earrings you loaned her. Nice rocks. What earrings? I didn't loan her any earrings. Leah, this is uh, Justin, Kara's boyfriend. Did Kara mention to you where she was going tonight? Oh, um... Don't worry. I get it. Hey. Uh, where were you? You said you'd come by tonight. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. You couldn't even return my text? I forgot to check my phone, I'm sorry. I just had to get out. Dress like that. You know, I ran into Sean in the night. And she told me she never lent you those pair of earrings, so. Where'd you get them, Kara? From whoever you were with tonight? No, I was just I was some girlfriend. Don't, don't lie to me, all right? I mean, I can smell him on you. So who is he? Stop, 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 stop! Just tell me he's not one of those sugar daddies. I, I don't, I don't believe this. You don't understand. I understand just fine, Kara. Check this out. My new sugar daddy gave it to me last night. Was this before or after you saw Justin? Hey, I did what I could to cover for you, all right? But, I mean, how long did you think you could keep it a secret? Look, forget about Justin, all right? You're only 21. Have fun. Is that what you're having, Shauna? Fun? About 12 carats of it. Plus, this guy has serious potential. As what? My future husband. Are you serious? What? Don't you think I'd make a great trophy wife? I thought you were just doing this to get through school. I am. I'm securing my future, academically and financially. Plus, this guy will probably croak before I even hit my peak. So you're just a gold digger, then? Yeah, those rocks that Justin was talking about, I'm sure you went digging for them. Look, don't pretend like you're any better than me. At least I know what I am, and I own it. You seem very quiet tonight. I'm fine. <laughs> I've had enough experience with women to know that when she says, I'm fine, she's probably not. That's all right. I got something planned that will make you happy tonight. So, you haven't said anything about my new set of wheels. 
That's nice. Nice? This is nice? <laughs> well, I'd have to drive it first to know that. Of course you are an auto mechanic's daughter. Well, I hope you like the drive because um, it's yours. What? I figured you needed a new car. Am I right? Um, <laughs> this is, this is, this is way too much. I don't know what to say. Don't worry. You will make it up to me. <sighs> how old are you? I'm not gonna tell you how old I am. Why not? Because it will probably freak you out and you'll leave me. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna ask you questions until I figure it out. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, so, when you were a kid, did you guys have electric power? <laughs> <laughs> the year after I was born, uh -huh. they invented it. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm, that just <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. What is the kinkiest thing you have ever done sexually? <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask me this. <laughs> well, other than doing it with a guy that went to high school with Abraham Lincoln, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I can't have a thing for chocolate syrup. Hmm. What about you? What's the kinkiest thing you've ever done? I like to be choked. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're serious? It's the most unbelievable high you have ever had. Wait, really? Get on top of me. When the moment is right, you take your hands, you put them here, okay? And you squeeze hard, yeah, right there. Harder, just like that, harder. Yeah, oh, it's just amazing. And the next time you're here, I want you to do that to me. I... I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Yes, you can. That's okay. You'll learn. You already pay me for this month. I think this more than adequately covers your father's medical expenses. Yes. Yes, you would. I don't know what to say. I admit, I'm a little bit, um, eccentric. And I have certain needs. This check is yours. If those needs are met. They denied the coverage, and there's nothing we can do. I don't even know if we're going to be able to hold on to the house. Take your hands. Put them here. Harder. Just like that. Harder. I think this more than adequately covers your father's medical expenses. I like to be choked. <laughs> wow. Would you say you got this? Stealer by school. They said it came in brand new except for the front end damage, so I made a really good deal with him. Don't worry, I wouldn't have done it if I couldn't. Mm. I tell you what, why don't you leave it tonight, knock out the front end, 
Let the old man go through it, all right? Tires tune up. You never know what you get when you buy used. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Oh, speaking of old man, happy birthday. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a lawyer in the family, all right, because of a bike with training wheels. Yes, <laughs> seriously. Because she wasn't having it when she was a kid. So I promised her one day, I said, okay, when I get home from work, I'll take the training wheels off. It's my kid. Doesn't wait for anything. So I get home. My wife is in the kitchen. She's in a state of shock because she can't find her. So I get in the car. I'm driving around looking for her, and then I see her. And I pull up next to her. I go, hey, sweetie. She goes, Dad, look, no training wheels. And she's going along. I said, baby, let's turn it around. Let's head home. She goes, Dad, I only know how to go straight. And she, <laughs> she's been going full steam forward ever since. Oh, uh, to Kara, best daughter a guy ever had. That's right. Oh, and uh, happy birthday, old man. Hey, that's right. I'm an old man today. Come over, sweetie. Yeah. You hooked me up tonight. <laughs> hey, it's Kara. Sorry I missed your call. Please leave a message. So your father tells me you bought yourself a car. A used car? You know, honey, we're not going to be able to help you much with tuition next year. No, I know. It's OK. I got a second job waitressing at a new restaurant, so. Tips are great. Great. Hey, I thought Justin was coming today. I know, he couldn't. He had too much work. Who keeps calling? Oh, uh, this is my roommate. I, I think she, she, uh, she might need something. I'll be right back, OK? Hello? Where have you been? I'm at my parents. Well, you need to leave. Now, I have a function at the club. I want you to be there with me. I had them put you on the list so we can meet there. I can't. It's my dad's birthday. I don't care what it is, Kara. I expect you in an hour. No, I need to be here. Do I have to remind you about our arrangement? Look, I thought you gave me this car so that I could spend more time with my family. When it doesn't interfere with my plans. I expect you in an hour. No. I'm sorry, Grant. Kara. Kara! Huh. Hey. Hey. Look, I'm sorry I called you a gold digger. Yeah, whatever. You're right. I don't own it. I don't think I could do it anymore. Kara, they don't get much better than Grant. Look at how he's taking care of you. He wanted me to leave my dad's birthday party to be with him. And I hope you didn't blow him off. The man just gave you a brand new car. Yeah, but none of that matters. Grant is not as wonderful as you think he is, OK? Sweetheart, none of them are. But it's a job. Do you know how many people make half as much as we do and hate their job? So yeah, there's some days where I'm not really crazy about what I do. But I'm not going to quit. Neither should you. you a biggie. Sure. I'm short on cash, and I, I just need a little bit to hold me over until I land my next daddy. What happened to Mr. Dress-Up? He dumped me. How much? 500? I don't even know if I have that. Do you have anything that I can pawn? I mean, Brand's a generous guy, right? Look, I promise. Pay back. I have some earrings. Great. Um, I'll pick them up after class, yeah? And like I said, I'll, I'll pay you back.
Brian Sager. What can I get you? Looking for Kara Jones. She works here. Not anymore. We had to let her go a few weeks ago. Excuse me. mad at me, aren't you? Disappointed. How was your father's birthday? It was nice. How was your event? Oh, I didn't go. I didn't have a date. Hey. I'm sorry. I have been extremely generous with you. And even though you're not willing to give me what I really want, what I asked for, the other night. The only thing I have ever expected in return is that you be there when I need you. But you told me at the last minute. I mean, you have to give me some advance notice. That's not the way this works. Hey, listen. Excuse me. Looking for a guy named Grant Zager? Is that you? No, I work for him. Who are you? I'm uh, Kara Jones's father. Apparently, your boss bought my daughter a car. I just want to know why. I want to make you happy. I really do. Is, is he home? Yeah, you can't go in there. Is my daughter in there? Yeah, tell you what, why don't you give me your phone number and I'll have Mr. Zager contact you. Just keep your hands away from me. Kara! Kara, are you in there? This is private property. Okay, you need to leave now. Just want to ask the man a simple question. You Zager? I am. Who are you? Dad, what are you doing here? Dad? Peter, it's okay. Why are you dressed like that? What are you, what are you doing here? Dad, he's just a friend. Why did he buy you a car? He didn't. Why is his name on the registration? Hmm? Does he give you money too? Mr. Jones, I'm uh, just trying to help your daughter cover some of her expenses, that's all. You know, just because you live in a big house and you make a lot of money, doesn't mean you can talk to me like I'm an idiot. I know exactly what's going on here. It's not what you think. He's giving you money for sex. Or am I wrong? Am I missing something here, huh? What's the matter with you? What, you can't date a woman your own age? What, are you some kind of pervert? Don't walk away from me, pal. This is not some hooker you pick up in a bar. This is my little girl. She is not your little girl. She is a grown-up, all right? And she is beautiful. Dad! <clears throat> Get the hell out of here now. Car, come on. Get in the car. I'm staying here. I am 21 years old, okay? I can choose who I want to spend my time with. There's nothing wrong with what I'm doing here. You love this guy? Huh? Then it's about the money. And where I come from, that's wrong. You don't understand what's going on here, Ted. He's been really good to me. He's the most generous man I've ever met. Dad, I didn't mean it like that. Dad, I'm sorry. Please, Dad, I'm sorry. That guy, that guy's a piece of crap. Just to get what does to that make school, you? Dad. Huh? What does just that make you? Dad, I'm sorry. Dad, please forgive me. Come home when he's smart enough. Dad! Are you okay? No, I am not okay. How did he get a hold of the car registration? He's fixing it. What do you mean he's fixing it? It's uh, a brand new car. He sort of got into an accident. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking clearly. It's just what happens when somebody asks me to strangle them. 
What did you think this was going to be? A love affair? You know what? This really isn't working. And I think it's best that we don't see each other anymore. Grant! Hey. Peter will give you a lift home. He'll come and pick up the car tomorrow. Wait. What about the check? For my family? Hi, Dad. Be dubbish ready. Keys are in it. Thanks. Dad, I just did what I thought I had to do to get into law school. I just wanted to keep making you proud. Do you think it makes me proud that you prostitute yourself? He was going to pay off your medical debt. A hundred thousand dollars. I don't want his money. I raised you better than that. I'm so sorry. Well, I gotta get Grant's car back to him, so. Yeah. Let me get the door for you. Go, oh, Dad! There you go. Hi, Kara. You wanted to see me? Yes, come on in. Why don't you have a seat? Hi. <clears throat> well, I just heard that the shelter changed their mind. They're not going to offer you the internship. Why? I don't know. Just that they made a mistake. I'm so sorry. is a piece of crap. What does that make you? Huh? What does that make you? Stop, stop, stop. What did you think this was going to be? A love affair? Hey, what's wrong? Everything. Uh, he dumped you, didn't he? Yep. My dad showed up. Made a big scene. I told you, these guys don't like drama. Yeah, well, now I'm screwed. He took away the car. Put a stop payment on my last check. Dorm fees are due in like two days. I spent all my money on fall tuition. I'm totally broke. So call your parents. I can't. My parents are broke too, and besides, they want to disown me. Justin hates me. I don't know what to do. And you have to go back to Grant. You have him on your side, you don't need anybody else. He doesn't want to see me again. Yes, he does. He's a lonely old man with a drawer full of Viagra. If there's one thing I've learned from all of this is that these guys like to feel needed. So just dry your pretty little eyes. And better yet, don't. And go tell him how much you need him. On them. I am. Just figured I'd wear them first. You know, maybe score myself another daddy with them. Speak of the devil. Give me a sec, will you? missed you. Really? Did you miss me? Grant, 
please give me another chance. We had a deal and I should have honored it. I promise I'll be where you want me to be, when you want me to be. And my father, he'll never bother us. I can have any woman in this room. I don't need your problems. Let me show you I can be what you want me to be. Okay. Have your friend over there come back with you to my house. And we'll see if you really mean that. yourself comfortable, have a drink, and I'll meet you upstairs in the bedroom. Okay. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Look, take this. Trust me, it'll help. If you don't do this, he'll just find someone else who will. So do me a favor and don't spoil this for the both of us. You're not the only one who needs the money. Yes, sir. Kara. Kara. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Forget about her. I'll do anything you want. It's all right. Huh? 
What's the matter? Come on. Leah. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Leah, come on, let's go. Leah, come on. Hey, Leah, 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 Leah! Oh my God! Chris! 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 Oh my God, Chris is Leah. I know, I know. She's 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 drunk. She's no, she's not she's drunk. She's very very no, drunk. She, she's dead. No, no, no. Yes, she's no. dead. No, no, she's hurt. Look at her, she's not moving. She... I don't understand, she, she was just here. Who, well, of course she was here. Who moved, what, what are you? She, listen to me, she didn't feel well. No, she no, drank no. too she much. She was just right there. Peter got her a cab. He didn't want her getting sick in the car. But I don't understand. She was just here. I saw her. Oh, you want something, Kara? Because that's what drugs do. They distort the mind. This is why I don't take them. But I swear she was just there. Kara, listen. You're not listening. OK, I think you should take a rest. You need to lie down. We'll go downstairs. I'm going home. Kara, stay. I want to go home. No, I'm leaving. I, I don't want to be anywhere near you anymore. Kara! Let me go. Yes, Kara. I'm going home. Where's the car? Uh, Peter takes it home with him every every night. Are you are you sure you can drive? I'm fine. Kara. Uh. It's all under control. What am I going to do about Kara? Just do what you always do, give her what she wants, and she'll forget about it. Hey, have you seen my tennis shoes? I want to go to the gym. Before I crash out. What's wrong with you? Have you seen Leah? No. Why, do you think she finally hooked up? She did. With me and Grant. Oh, I take it you made up with them. This isn't a joke, Sean. OK, well, it was just one night. Just forget about it. I can. It was awful. Leah, she gave me the stuff, you know, to get me through it. And I got really sick, so I went to the bathroom. And when I came out, Leah was. What? I think she was dead. What are you talking about? I don't know. I just kept shaking her, but she didn't move. Well, did you call 911? I mean, she probably overdosed or something. No, I didn't, because when I finally found Grant, she was gone. He said he sent her home in a cab. God, Kara, don't mess with me like that. I'm not messing with you. I saw her. You were on drugs? <laughs> I mean, do you know what that stuff does to your head? I talked to her roommate. She, she said she never came home. Leah does this kind of stuff all the time. She goes on benders and just comes back whenever she feels like it. Trust me, she'll probably be back by the end of the day. She's fine. What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. Um, it's OK. Forget about her. I'll do anything you want. You're a bad boy, aren't you? <laughs> 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 What's the matter? Leah, Leah. Leah. Oh, God. Come on, 
come on. Pick up. I brought you some coffee. Thanks. There's some dinner inside if you're hungry. Barry, she's still our daughter. And she needs you. Carol. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, Grant says you haven't been returning his calls. Just been really busy. Um, how is that your business? Well, it's my business because I look out for him. You know that. He's waiting for you in the car. He's got something for you. You are a hard girl to get hold of. When I make a promise, I keep it. How do they look? Peter got her a cab. He didn't want her getting sick in the car. I can't accept this. I'm sorry. Okay. I have a class I have to get to. I promise I'll call you. Why'd you let her go? What the hell am I supposed to do? Keep her as a hostage? I didn't mean to kill that girl. I am not going to lose everything I have worked for all my life because of a couple of dumb coeds. I'll take care of it. How? What are you going to do? Look, I'm a part of this thing now, too. No, absolutely not. She's going to go to the cops. Can you do the time? Because I've done my fair share, and I'm not going back, and I sure the hell ain't going to let you do it. I was messed up. I was this close to being dead. You came back for me. You saved my ass. I don't forget that. No, we're going to pretend that this conversation never happened. Let me handle it. She didn't go home in a cab. What are you talking about? Leah, Grant said she went home in a cab, but she didn't. How do you know that? I found this in Grant's car. I gave them to Leah, and she was still wearing them when I found her. That doesn't mean anything. Of course it does. It means that he lied. <laughs> so what? So she went home in his car. Who cares? Leah is missing. I swear if she doesn't come home tonight, I'm going to the police. <laughs> Don't be such a drama queen, all right? You could blow this for all of us. The last thing that these guys want is anybody getting into their business. I mean, God, Kara, you don't seriously think that Grant did something to her, do you?
ES on. Hey, Dad. Yeah, um, uh, didn't have your GPS. Was that a mistake? No, no, it wasn't a mistake. Dad, you still there? Yeah. Look, I just want you to know that. <laughs> what? Carol. Carol. Hey, what's going on? I don't know. Something's wrong. What? I'll go find out. Do you want me to come along? No. Stay here in case she comes home. I'll call you when it's done. That's what I'm gonna do to you. That's what you're gonna do. Tie your arm off with it. Tie it off! No one would ever believe I would do this. Really? Remember all the drugs you did the other night? They're still in your system. 
You would tell a different story, isn't it? Now do it, because if I have to do it, I'm gonna hurt you a hell of a lot worse. Tie yourself off! Leave it alone. Hey, what the hell's going on? Huh? You said you were gonna call me. You said this was gonna be done already. Did you? Is she, uh... Peter? I think Peter broke your arrangement. Plane ready, I'm on my way. Yes, Grant Zager, that's right. He has a plane at the West Side Airport. Yes, ma'am. I need this plane off the ground in five minutes. Mr. Zager. We need to ask you a few questions. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetie. Need some help? All I can get. Got a three eighths. Three eighths. Thanks. I should do it. <laughs> you feel like taking a ride? a lot my last year of college no matter how badly you want something or how ambitious you are there are some things that just aren't worth it my teacher would call it the underlying morality of the law me 
I call it selling your soul. Because when something makes you feel that empty inside, you might as well be dead. And everything you had hoped to gain is worthless. If anyone ever tells you that you don't have to work hard to get what you want, well, they're lying. Because dreams need to be chased and fought for. And easy money, it's never just that.